Hey, I'm Zach and this is a dev update for my VR guitar project. This video is part of a series and you can find the earlier videos on my YouTube channel. Let's start with the lighting. The last build we saw had glowing strings, but that glow didn't actually affect the scene. To improve on this, I added lights near the strings. This creates an illumination effect that gives the strings a really strong presence and makes the hands look like they are actually strumming these glowing strings. As a bonus, this effect also helps with depth perception since the lighting provides visual cues about whether the hand is in front of or behind the strings. The white cursors also provide a light source. It's mostly noticeable when you move one hand near to the other. The cursor's brightness is connected to the confidence value that Leap Motion reports for each hand. A brighter cursor means higher confidence levels, and hopefully this will help the user find hand positions that work well. The vibration of the guitar strings is now based on the direction of your strumming motion. Um, the strings also change length when you select a chord. The string length is based on the fret positions of the current chord, so higher notes mean shorter strings. Another small fix is that the cursor indicators disappear when you move your hands too far away from the center box. In this build, I also redesigned the chord selectors and gave them labels for the note names. As a more experimental part of this change, I also made those selectors line up with their individual strings. This makes the chord selector smaller, but they match up correctly with the actual notes on the guitar's fretboard. This build also includes a thumb gesture to switch between major and minor chords. You might have already noticed me using this during the video. Let's take a closer look. Imagine a line from the tip of your index finger to the center of your palm. Pull that line outward from your palm to form a plane, and then shift that plane a little way toward your thumb. Whenever the tip of your thumb moves to the far side of the plane, the guitar switches to minor chords. Let's also take a closer look at the strumming mechanics. I added some debugging lines here to demonstrate what's going on. In this case, we're looking specifically at the D string. To strum a string, the cursor needs to move through the gray strumming plane, and that intersection point must fall within the blue rectangular strumming zone. The strumming plane's normal is based on the direction of the cursor's movement. This means that the strings can react well to all kinds of strumming motions, whether the cursor is moving up and down, in and out, or at any diagonal. The short lines that appear for a moment show where the cursor has crossed the strumming plane. The green lines are within the strumming zone, and the red lines are not. A minor problem with this approach occurs when you're moving at very slow speeds, the slight tracking jitter can make the strumming plane jump around rapidly. So what's next? I'm actually thinking about making some pretty drastic changes to the project. The thing is, the VR guitar is never going to be as expressive as a real guitar, and the playing style will always be different. So instead of trying to force a virtual instrument to behave like a real one, I'd rather try to invent an instrument that works really well in VR and maybe is only possible in VR. There will still be strings and strumming and chord selections, but I have some ideas for new layouts and mechanics of the instrument. Well, that's all for today's update. If you have ideas or feedback or questions, please leave a comment and we'll talk. If you liked this video, you can find the entire series on my YouTube channel. Maybe you could even share it with your friend who likes guitars and computers. I know you have one. Find me on Twitter for project updates, and thanks for watching.